Now, if you want to save some money, I'll show you a way, particularly if you're spending a lot of time at home and you don't have a lot of cash to spare, that you can grow beautiful plants for your garden without having to spend a cent. When you walk around your garden, and maybe others, there's a lot of plants that you fall in love with and you want more of. As long as you've got access to material from them, you can grow them yourself, asexually. Asexual reproduction isn't a dirty word if you want more plants that you love in your garden. Grab some pots, some potting mix and a spade. Plants like this simply gorgeous sacred lily of the Incas divide beautifully this time of the year. The way you do it is with a sharp spade, some mature plants and simply lift and divide them. You can pot them back into the soil or garden beds that they grow in or into pots and let them settle before replanting them into your garden a few months later. This strategy applies to all clumping plants, including agapanthus, which, like the sacred lily of the Inca, are absolutely fabulous lining the edge of driveways. Pop them in some good soil, keep the water up, you'll do really well. Now, the other thing you can do is grow your own plants from cutting, and it's probably how most of the plants that you have in your own garden have been grown. Most nurserymen grow their plants from cutting. It's an easy way to reproduce new shrubs. Taking cuttings from a bunch of your favourite plants and then planting them up is an easy task. Simply take the cuttings, ideally up to 10 per 130 or 40 mil pot. You plant them by variety and record it on the side of the pot with a pen. All you're going to do is take these, what I call semi-hardwood cuttings, so they're just that slightly hardwood. It's not the soft ends. If you're going to do the soft ends, make sure you've got yourself some what we call rooting powder or even honey is fantastic. You dip the cutting base into the honey or into the rooting powder and it just stimulates the roots to come out. Now, the idea is give them a water afterwards. I'm using a professional propagation system here. This is called the Aquamizer, so it comes with its own little cover that goes in over the top, just like this. And the idea is it holds humidity in. You can also recreate this quite easily at home by using the pots with some wire, just some coat hanger wire bent over the top in a bit of a frame and grab a plastic freezer bag over the top, elastic band around the pot and it holds the humidity in. That's what you're trying to do here is keep the humidity in. This stops them from transpiring all that moisture out of the foliage and encourages it to set some roots down. And as soon as it has, which is only two or three weeks down the line, you end up with beautiful plants all ready to be transplanted into small pots. The cuttings in the pot can sit in a tray of water, allowing moisture to rise up through the soil using capillary motion. Or you can lift the pot cover every third day and add some more moisture via a watering can. And it's as easy as that. Believe it or not, that's all you've got to do to have a garden full of the plants that you love. Growing your own like this is incredibly rewarding. Of course, most importantly, days like these, you really do save a lot of money. So give it a go.